I said Wazoo. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Warlock build of Figure Waves Shatterstar. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, I've really been wanting a Shatterstar for a very, very, very long time. So I'm stoked about that. Uh, the packaging was a little bit damaged, you know, so I asked if they can give me a discount. Hooked it up with 5% off, so you know what I mean? If you see some damaged packaging, you know, ask for a discount. They might do it. Anyway, very cool image of Shatterstar right over there. And then on the back, you can see there's a read-up, and there's the figure itself. And then there's the other figures from the wave. We got Shatterstar again with an X at the top and X-Men right over there. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Shatterstar out of the packaging and we finally have a Marvel Legends Shatterstar figure and in the original suit too or in his original attire anyway. I think it looks awesome. I really like this figure a lot. Uh, we do get reused parts of course from the Bucky Cap mold. You can see the reused legs over there but we get brand new boots. I think those are brand new boots man. And it looks like the upper torso is new. We get some new arms in there. We have some added parts and everything with the pauldron and everything so very nice looking head sculpt as well but before we take a closer look at the head sculpt let's take a closer look at his accessories X Force. All right, of course he comes with his two signature swords, and they look good. I like this silver plastic that they used for them. It could have been a little bit shinier, but I don't know. Well, for the most part, I think they're all right. And they're a little stabby, you know, not too much. And I like how they come to a point or a nice edge right over here. And then this is the double sword right there, the double bladed sword. And unfortunately, mine is a bit bent. I wish there was a little bit more space between the two of them like that. I don't know. I was thinking of just picking my nose and just putting a booger in between the two of them to keep that gap going. Or I could use a hair dryer. And that did not really help so much. Not nearly as much as I'd like to. So a booger it is. So you just take your moko and you just put it right in between there. And now you have that gap going on. That's not a real booger. That's just some hot glue. But still, uh, just the idea of it would be kind of funny. There we go. Uh, I may just leave it like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really happy that Hasbro went with the original costume for Shatterstar. It's really my favorite look for this character. And he's gone through many costumes, including his contemporary look right here, which I think would be a cool movie version, but I just don't really like it so much for the comics. Even though I love Shatterstar and X-Factor, I think he's great. And his background is fairly complex. He comes from an alternate dimensions future where he's a test tube baby of Dazzler and Longshot. He has crazy fighting abilities, bred to be a gladiator. He also has an incredible healing factor, and he has some teleportation abilities. And I really like the character a lot. I just think he's a cold-hearted bastard. Just a very stern, kind of mean, unempathetic character. And in case you ladies were wondering, he's not available. He's totally into dudes. Yep. So, anyway, looking at the head sculpt, though, I think it looks really good. I think they did a really good job with this. The only thing is that I feel like this headband's just a little bit too low. I don't think it's off the mark as far as how he looks in the comics. It's just that it's really hard to see his eyes. But I do think the eyes look really good, especially his left eye, having that nice gold paint on there, which is really tricky to see. Uh, oh, if I tilt his head back further, you can see it a little better, right? So nice gold paint on his left eye right there. Yeah, and some nice black deco around it, too. The right eye looks pretty good as well. And I do like the flesh tone. It does look extremely bright because my settings, but as I darken it up, you can see that nice flesh tone and the black wash over the brown. And then the hair looks really well sculpted too. I like how these came out. And you get this nice little gray right there tying everything together. And then he has some nice hair up top, nice color variation. Really digging that. Yeah, I wish this was articulated, by the way, but it is not. And looking on this side, yeah, very nice black wash over the brown. And this pauldron right over here looks really good too. I like that. Nice black wash again. And nice clean silver and black deco. Then I think this is a new upper torso right here. I, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I like how it looks. We get some very nice wrinkles. I'm digging that a lot. Then we get some nice wrinkles right here on the arms too. Looking very good. Then the gray looks pretty solid. I think these are the Bucky Cap hands. I don't know. Those wrinkles look familiar to me, especially with this trigger finger. And he does hold his swords very well too. And he also has this little cape piece right here. He does have a peg hole on his back. Then nice belt right there. Looking really good with that black wash over the brown. Digging that. Nice silver paint apps there too. Of course we have the bucky cap legs. And he has this little piece right here. Which will sink down on me. That, that kind of bothers me a little bit. I wish it was glued on there. But the black paint came out looking pretty good. And then we have these black pins that show up 
you know, on the white section, that kind of bothers me a little bit. And he also has these nice looking boots right here. Not looking too shabby. Some nice wrinkles on there and everything. And he does have peg holes under his feet. Doctor Strange! That's where the upper torso comes from. Wow, that's a wobbly head, Doctor Strange. But yeah, same upper torso, except this guy does not have a peg hole in the back, and this one does. Anyway, on to the articulation. You can move his head upward fairly well. Uh, I think that's pretty good. You can move him upward that much, and his head will look down that much. You also get that forward and back <laughs> pile driver thing going on. You get side to side movement at the head, and you also get some head pivot right here. If you wanted to pop off the head and remove this stuff, you could, and that's the first time I did that, so let's see how that looks. And uh, it looks a little bit weird. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. it looks kind of strange. Yeah, Doctor Strange. Yeah. Anyway, putting this back on right there, you can move his arms outward that much. Um, yeah, you can't really move them farther up than that. Uh, you can not move them all the way down. You can move them forward. You get a bicep swivel, which has gotten fairly loose on both arms for me. He does have double jointed elbows that bend in that much. No forearm articulation, but he does have wrist swivel and they hinge up and down. He has a good ab crunch that moves forward that much and it moves back that much. He does have a waist swivel and you can shift the belt up and down as you need to. He also has the bucky cap hip joints that move outward that much. He can kick forward that much and back that much. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees and on this side let's see if it bends in further yeah just a little further because you don't have this band right here then he also has boot rotation and then the ankles move down they don't move up I would like them to move up but yeah it's a little unfortunate they sculpted all these wrinkles right here so it keeps him from moving up and he does have ankle pivot now measuring this shatter star figure you can see that he's standing just a little under seven inches tall uh, you can see the ponytail right there is at the seven inch mark but to the top of his head it's closer to six and a half inches and to compare shatter star to some Hello, X Force teammates. We have Cannonball, Cable, Domino, and Warpath. And this Cable figure is just way too short, man. And I hope to see a Boom Boom and Feral figure come out from Hasbro. That would be sweet. Then swapping out the Toy Biz Cable with the Hasbro Cable from the Juggernaut Build a Figure Wave, you can see he fits perfectly in scale with the rest of these figures. It's just kind of sad that this costume right here doesn't really match. Hopefully, when Deadpool 2 comes out, they'll release a new Cable figure that does have the X Force gear. And then here's Shatterstar next to Deadpool, as we've seen them fight in the comics. I have some photos of them fighting in the photo gallery. At the end. And then here's Shatterstar next to the only other figure from the wave that I've already reviewed, Old Man Logan. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends big time no let down Spider-Man. Yeah, I think this is a very cool figure. I'm very happy with this Shatterstar. I really do like it a lot. Very fun to pose, you know? I've had a great time taking pictures. I took a lot of photos of this guy, so make sure you check out the photo gallery at the end of this video, as well as images over at MarvelousNews.com. I do have little gripes about this guy, uh, I'm not gonna lie, you know? Especially, you know, the, the whole thing with the blade right over here. But really, I'm very pleased with it, and I've had a lot of fun with this figure, and I'm very happy to have it. And I hope you guys are very happy to have this review! If you are, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That'll be coming at your face. If you're already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell. And I'd like to go ahead and dedicate this video to Christian. Thank you so much, Christian, for being a supporter of this YouTube channel. And again, if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it's all over at MarvelousNews.com, and you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Closing action figures. I'm closing action figures. I'm closing action figures. Every day, I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. It's okay. That's crispy. We're shot. We're shot. We're shot in your face. I said we're shot. We're shot. We're shot in your face. I said we're shot. We're shot. We're shot.